Okay, so let's start. Can you see my screen now? No, I can't see. Not yet. Okay, can you see it now? Yes. All right, wonderful. So our topic will be the common expressions in English. Uh, just a review, just a review for our first day, okay? I know that you are so good in English. We just have a quick review, okay? And also my way to observe you. All right, let's move. Okay, can you tell me what are the different ways to say hello? Um, good morning. Yes. What else? Good afternoon and good evening. Yeah, so those are the other ways, right? Can you still think of other words, other ways to say hello? Can you still remember the one that we just did? When I say hi, you say hello. So what's hello. the other way? This is already hello, right? So what's the other one? Hey, hi. Okay, of course. Hi, right? And what else? What are the other ways to say hello in English? Good morning. Yeah, I mean, you already said that. Do you still think of other time? Okay, you can also say, what's up? Or you can say, hey. Hey, buddy. Hey. Yeah, hey, right? Informal. You can say, hey, what's up? Right? So you can say that one. What's up? All right? Yeah. Understand? Okay, very good. What about, what do you say when you leave someone? What do you say when you leave someone? You say, what do you say when you leave someone? Do you know leave? Yes. Yeah. What are... Sorry, what is it you're going to say? Hello, Lily. Uh oh. It's okay. For example, I'm going to I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave. Yeah. I'm going to leave. Yeah. We're going to end the lesson. What are you I, going to say? Oh, goodbye. Yes, goodbye. Definitely. You're going to say goodbye, right? <laughs> okay. Of course, you say goodbye when you leave someone. What else? What are the other um, ways to say goodbye? Bye. Bye. Okay, you just simply bye. What else? Bye-bye. Oh, <laughs> okay, sure. You can make it twice. Bye-bye. Or you can also say, see you later. Or I'll you can you also, again. yeah, or see you again. Or see you tomorrow, <laughs> right? And you can also say, till next time. Until next time, right? Okay. Okay, Lily. Understood? All right. Wonderful. So... We're going to talk about this topic, hello again. Okay. Yes. Let's have a quick look. Can you see the picture? Yes. Wonderful. Right. So since you can see the picture, let me ask you some questions about it. Okay. okay. One, how many children are there in the playground? And Lily, try to answer always in complete sentences. Okay, answer me in complete sentences. Um, there are two children in the playground. There are two children. Are you sure? Yeah. Where are the two children? Think, this are, are these two children? Is. Yes, I think that's the room. But okay. I want... What about this, well, this guy? I think it's not children. It's not, a child, it's not a child. Okay, they are not children. And this too as well? Um, that's children. 
is also children. So how many? Oh, there are four children in the playbook. Four. Okay. What about this one? Uh, riding bicycle. And who do you think uh, are they saying hello? And the the bag, look at the bag, it's color pink. <laughs> is it like it's not it's not a child? Okay. Hello, Lily. Are you still there? Yes. Okay. So actually, the answer here is six. Okay. There are six children. So these are still children. Okay. Just assume that there are still children, but it may not look a child or children, but they are still children. Okay. So just assume. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so yeah. there. Yeah. So there are still children. Okay. okay. Let's. What is the building that's behind the children? What is the building that's behind the children? Building. Yeah. Okay. Can you see the building? Is this the building? Is okay. this is this the building, Lily? Do you know what is a building? Yes, this is a school. Okay. Okay, you say it's a school. Let's try to see. Yes, it is a school. It's a school. Okay. So be confident. <laughs> Why? Are you thinking too much? Why? Do you, what do you think? Does it look like a school? Yes. Yeah, all right. Okay, so it's a school. It's a school. <laughs> Next, how many grown-ups can you see? How many grown-ups can you see? Do you know the meaning of grown-up? Do you know the word no, I... adult? Do you know what is adult? Grow up. Grown-ups. Other term for grown-ups is adults. Do you know this term? Ah. Uh. Um, is one grown up. There is one grown up. If there are many grown ups, but if there's one grown up, right? Okay, so you I can have see. seven people here, but six children and one is grown. Okay, there are six children and one grown up. Very good. So you can see there is one grown up. Wonderful. That is the grown up. Is a teacher. Yeah, do you think she's a teacher? Yes. She is a teacher, right? And what is she doing? She is? is she is running. Yeah, she's running, right? Very good. Very nice. Okay. Good job. Okay, let's try to see the other things here. Okay. I know this vocabulary is quite easy for you, so let's make it quick. Can you hear? Sky. Can you say that? Can sky. you see? Okay, good. Sky. Okay, that's a sky. Very easy. Next. Seat. Seat. Okay, good. That is a seat or a chair. Next. Okay. Skateboard. Skateboard. Okay. This is skateboard. Do you know how to play skateboard? No, I don't know. Oh, I see. You don't know. Do you want to try in the future? No. <laughs> no, you don't like. It's very dangerous, right? Very hard to do. But do you know how to do bicycle? Mm, yes. Okay. Bicycle it's... is easier, right? And it's more fun. But skateboard, it's quite hard, difficult. I don't know also. I don't know how to do skateboard. Okay, next. Can you read this one? Backpack. Backpack. Not backpack. 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 Again, pack. This part. Pack. Backpack. Okay, good. Or you can also say rucksack. Okay? Other term for backpack is rucksack. Okay, that's backpack. Yes. Okay. Do you know this picture from Dora? Do you know Dora? Yes. 
you know, there are the explorers. So this is backpack. And do you know this one? Mm -hmm, yes. What is this? Do you know who is it? No. Oh, oh, do you know you don't know Dora the Explorer? Do you know that you don't know that one? Dora? Dora 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 the Explorer. You don't know? Oh, haven't watched. You haven't watched. It's okay. So it's a famous kid show. This is backpack. Yeah, it's a kid show. Okay, just let me show you quickly. I want to show you. Dora the Explorer. Okay, this is American show, Dora. Okay, so that is backpack. Can you see backpack uh, <laughs> and map? Okay. Uh, it is Dora the Explorer. That's why I said it's a kid's show. It's a kid's show. If you want to learn English, try to watch this one. Very nice. Okay, you can also watch on YouTube. Okay. You will learn a lot. Okay, so this backpack and that's the map. Okay. Next word? Bicycle. Bicycle. Okay. In short, you can call it bike. Bike. All right. Good. Very easy. Next. Grass. Grass. Okay. Very good. Very easy. Next one? Sunglasses. Sunglasses. Do you know what are sunglasses? Yes. Okay. Um, just for picture, let me sunglasses. Okay, these are sunglasses. Yeah. Where do you wear this one? Where do you wear this one? No, because I mean where? Where do you wear? Where do you wear sunglasses? Where? Where? Mm. No, I don't wear. Uh, no, I ask, where do you wear? Where? Where do you wear sunglasses? <laughs> <laughs> what do you when Not the when. Sky, when the sky is sunny. Okay, when it's very sunny, right? When it's very sunny and the sun is so bright, so you use that to cover your eyes, right? To cover yes. the eyes. Okay. But my, uh, my question here is where? What's the answer if you're, I'm asking for where? If my question is where, I'm looking for a place. I'm looking for a place, right? Yes. Yeah. What would be the place then? So it's outdoor. Outdoor. Yeah, meaning you should wear it outdoor. Are you going to wear sunglasses inside your house? No. No, right? That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous if you're going to wear it in your house. Are you going to wear sunglasses during the night? No. Of course, no. You're going to wear it outdoor. During sunny weather. Okay? Okay. All right. Understood. Very good. Next one. Okay, that is sunglasses. Roof. Roof. Okay, so this is roof. Right? Very easy, right? So where can we find a roof? In my house. Inside your house? No. Um, outside the house. Okay. I mean, uh, on the top of your house, right? On the top. Not in. Because if it's in the house, the roof will be inside the house. Preposition. Preposition. Yes. Right? So it covers the house, right? It covers the house. Very good. Very nice. Very easy, right? Very easy words. Let me just clear this one. And let's move forward. Okay, let's have a quick review of grammar. Yeah. Yes, it's present continuous. 
Okay, so okay, what's your face? I say like, oh, what's that? There are is that mathematics? <laughs> there are plus and minus. <laughs> there are plus signs. Okay, this is just a formula on how it will look like. But technically, it will look like this. Okay, present simple, present continuous. Can you see the difference? The difference of present simple and continuous. Okay. Can you see the difference? Why it's why okay? Yes or answer. Can you see the difference? Yes or no? Yes, can I can, I can see. see. All right. And what is the difference that you can see? Mm. Teacher, present yes? simple present. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know this book. I can't read this book. A present simple and present what? Continuous. <laughs> you say it continuous. Con continuous. Okay. Okay, so you're going to look at the verbs, right? So look at the verb and you can see the form. The form for present simple, if it's Singular form, it adds usually S in the end of the verb. Yes. But yes. in present continuous, you're going to use the B verb or the helping verb plus ING, right? They're always in. like ING, working. Okay? In. Well, in. They're always like ING, 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 right? So continuous, present continuous, always like ING, ING, ING at the end of the verb. Very easy, right? And present simple, you're just going to add S in the singular verbs. Okay, let's try to look for more examples. Okay, can you read present simple, this first part, habits, regular actions, or situations? Can you read this part? I wash my hair every day. He usually gets up every day. Huh? I... Very early. <laughs> He usually gets up very early. Okay. I have one. Okay, stop I first. Have... Stop first. I ask you to read this part. Okay. Uh, let's correct you. Usually. Can you say that? Usually. Usually. Okay, very good. So, these are habits, regular actions, or situations. Okay? Whereas, for present continuous, can you read this one? Up to... Actions, 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 in pro progress, progress now, mm -hmm. around now. Mm -hmm. I can't talk, but I can't talk. I'm pushing my teeth. I am love reading. I, I'm reading now. There's no love. <laughs> I'm reading a whole new book. I love it. Okay, you're mixing, you're mixing immediately the words. Okay, let's try. I'm not brushing, you say it. Brushing, brushing. Brushing. Okay, so that's brushing my teeth, right? I'm brushing my teeth. I'm reading a new book. I love it. Okay, so you can see here the difference that for present simple, listen, Lily, for present simple, these are habits, the things that you do Regularly, when we say you do regularly, you always like do it every day or every week or yearly or most of the time, right? So you call that regular actions. But for this one, you're talking about a temporary action, something that uh, something that's happening now, in the moment, the very moment, now, this moment. So you put I in, okay? Okay. All right. Do you know the word progress? Do you know the word progress? No. Okay. It's okay. Let's try to look at translation. Actions in progress. I'm not counting. I'm not sure. I'm not sure of the meaning. Actions in progress. Okay. So. I'm not sure of the translation. I cannot check. I'm not a Vietnamese, but I'm not sure if it's correct. Yes. 
Tôi đi, con đang hỏi đi Con hỏi mấy người ta gì thế? Đâu thầy đang hỏi đi Thầy đang làm cái này này Cái này sẽ có này này nữa Chương trình nhưng mà không Ví dụ như con làm một cái việc gì Thì nó có tuần tự các bước như thế nào Một, hai, ba, bốn, năm I'm sorry Một, hai, ba, bốn, năm I'm sorry What is it? <laughs> All right. Did you ask for the meaning? Whether it's correct? Yes. All right. Is this correct? Does it make sense? Meaning actions in progress, something that you're doing now continuously. For example, I am reading a book. For example, I am reading a book. I may not have the book right now, but I am still reading the book. So progress, things that you're still doing. For example, you are drawing. You are drawing, meaning you are doing it now, but not yet finished, but still in progress. Progress still, you're doing it still. You're still doing it. Do you, do you understand, Lily? Mm. Huh? Confused. <laughs> I don't understand still. Oh, you are still... You are still doing it now. Okay. Okay. You are still doing it now. Okay. That's actions in progress. Okay. For example, example, we are studying. Studying. Yeah. Studying, not ing. So we are studying. All and right. We Oh, sorry. Okay, for example, we are studying. That is the thing that we are doing now, right? Now. You know the word now? Now. Present. Now. So what we are doing now? We are studying. Okay? If you are talking about what's now, you don't say we are, we study. No, you don't say we study. You say we are studying because that is what we are doing now. Okay, but you can say, I study okay. with teacher Angel yeah, every, okay, every Tuesday, 9 p.m. Okay? So, you don't use I am studying. You, okay, you don't say I am studying because you are talking about regular, regular, the thing that you will do every Tuesday, every Tuesday. Yeah. So, yeah, that's my name, Teacher Angel. <laughs> okay, so you're going, I'm not sure if it's correct. Okay, let me just put teacher. Maybe it will make different. I study with teacher every Tuesday, 9 p.m. Okay. Meaning to say you study every 9 p.m. You don't say I am studying. You don't say I am studying. You say I study. So this is what tense? Present tense or present continuous? What's this one? Present tense or present continuous? Present. Okay. Simple present, right? Simple present. Simple. Okay. Do you understand now the difference? Understand? Fear? Yes. Okay, wonderful. Very great. Okay, next. Move to the next. Can you read the second part for present simple? This one? Facts permanent. 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 Mm -hmm. What? Situations. Generations. Again, of... situations. Situations. It's Situation. Okay, no. Situations. Situations. Situation. Very good. Next. Or that's states. States. Okay, so let's get to the dictionary or translator. Facts. Um, permanent situations. Or something states. Okay. Sorry. 
I am Mrs. History. Facts, permanent situations, or states. Okay. Facts, permanent situations, or states. Okay, can you read it again? Fast, permanent. 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 Mm -hmm. permanent. Not permanent. 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 Okay. Permanent. Okay, good. Permanent. Permanent. Situations. <laughs> Situations. Situation. Okay, good. Situation. State. Fast permanent situation of state. Okay, good. You know the meaning? Do you know the meaning now? Yes. Okay, very good. So, can you read the first sentence? I have one brother. He lives in Paris. Wait, wait, water. Uh, not wait. Water. <laughs> water boils at one hundred degrees. 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 Water boils at one hundred degrees. Can you read it again? Water boils at one hundred degrees. Water boils at one hundred degrees. Okay. Okay. Water boils at one hundred degrees. Can you say it again? Water boils at one hundred degrees. Okay. Don't speak. Fast. Um, I want you, the way you speak before. Speak slowly. Water boils at one hundred degrees. Water boils at one hundred degrees. Very good. Understand? Mm. You know the meaning now. Nước sôi ở một trăm độ. Okay, <laughs> I don't know the meaning, but hopefully it's correct. <laughs> All right. So if you read the sentence, is this a fact? Is this a fact? Yes. Is this okay? It's a factual sentence, right? And it's always permanent. Did you understand why is this a permanent situation? Do you know that? Yes. Do you know why is it a permanent situation? Because, for example, it's always true wherever you go that you will have, for example, one brother. Okay, for example, that you have a brother, you will always have yeah. one brother, right? Wherever you go. Whether you go old, you always have one brother. So it's always true. So it's a fact. So you use present simple. Okay, this one is permanent. For this one, present continuous. Can you read it? Temporary. Temporary. Temporary actions are. <laughs> okay, again, how you read it? You just have read it, right? Situations. Situations. Okay, not temporary. 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 No, rarely. Temporary. Yes. Okay. So temporary. Temporary actions or situations. Temporary actions or situations. Is this clear? Temporary. Temporary actions. Temporary. Or Temporary. Okay. And situation. situations. Can you read it again? Situations. Situations. Okay. Very good. You get it? What's Temporary the meaning? Of situations. Oh, okay, very good. So try to read the sentences under it. I'm going to walk by bus. This uh, this week, I'm living with my cousins until I find an apart apartment. Apartment. Okay. Do you know the meaning of apartment? Apartment. Do you know what's apartment? Um, no. Okay. This is apartment. 
or simply I will oh. just get you the picture. Okay. So this could be a picture of apartment, right? Well, this one is very beautiful. <laughs> this one's very beautiful. Or your house, your background picture in Zoom, it looks like an apartment. Okay. What? I mean, your picture behind you. Yes. In Zoom, it looks like apartment, all right? So can you tell me why is this temporary? Why is this sentence temporary? What makes it temporary? What makes this sentence temporary? Mm, I'm going. Temporary? Again, what's the meaning of temporary? Temporary. Okay. Do you, know, do you understand the meaning of temporary? Yes. Tạm thời. Okay. So what's the meaning of temporary? My question, what makes this sentence temporary? What's temporary here? The word this week. This week. Do you know the meaning this of week. this week? It's meaning only this week. Next week, he will no. be back. He will no longer doing this. It's only this week. So temporary, not permanent. The different, the opposite of temporary is permanent, right? Okay. okay. So this is temporary, present continuous, present simple. It's always permanent situation. Okay. Okay. Right. What about the second sentence? What makes this sentence temporary? What is temporal on that sentence? Mm. Until, that's his answer. Yes, the word until, right? Meaning there will be ending. You will stay there until I find an apartment. Meaning you will stop. It will not be forever. You will not be there forever. So until you find an apartment, then you're going to stay there, right? So that is a temporary situation. This one is situation. This is a Temporary situation. This one is temporary action. Okay. Clear? Is this clear, Lily? Is this clear? Hello, Lily. What? Okay. Uh, is it clear? The one that I said? Are you learning so far? No. What? I can see no mouth. Uh, can you hear me, Lily? Uh, yes. Okay. My question is that, are you learning so far? Are you learning? Did you understand me? Mm, yes. Sometimes <laughs> I don't understand. Yeah. Don't worry. I will give the video because I'm recording this one. You can see the video after. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you can review. You can still review this after. Okay, so you can still review the lesson once you watch the video. Okay, so you can repeat this. You can repeat it. Okay, let's move to this one. Can you read this part? Give me the money I need. No, this one first. Not. Read it with. With starting verbs. Okay. You pronounce it. This one. Stative. Stative. Huh? Stative. 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 Okay. Stative. Oh, sorry. No Vietnamese translation. Meaning, it's also state. Um, it's also state. Uh, state. Our condition, this one, tin trang. Tin trang. Status. So, so it's almost the same as stative. Status. Okay. okay, it's also the same as status. Or you can say condition. 
Ok Bình chạm Okay. ok, ok, ok. Don't worry. Um, <laughs> we're just learning. We're still learning. Ok, we're still learning. Ok. Ok, read now the first sentence. Give me the money. I need it now. Very good. Next. What happened? You look sad. Ok, you say, what happened? You look sad. What happened? You all said. Okay, good. So you don't say happened, okay? You say happened. Okay. All right. Okay. So these are talking about what are you feeling? What are you feeling now? It's status. It's the stat status. Your feelings. Give me the money. I need I don't it. Like now. This. You don't like this one, right? Very hard to understand. What happened? You look sad, okay? Because you don't say what happened. You are looking sad. You don't say that way. You are looking sad. Oh, you, you better say what happened. You look sad, okay? Yeah. Okay. The other part. Can you read this? Changing. Changing or de developing. 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 Uh. <laughs> Again, the word situations. <laughs> All right. Situation. Okay, try to remember situations. the words. Okay. Situations. 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 Again. Situations. For another time. Situations. Okay. okay. Good. Read this one again. Changing. Changing or developing. No S. Situations. This is not changing. 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 Or developing situations. Very good. All right. Can you read the first sentence? The, uh, the climate. The climate. The climate is changing very quickly. Okay. So let me usually say. The climate is changing very quickly. The climate is changing very quickly. Okay. Clear? Oh, sorry. Okay. Anything. Or next one. Your English is improving. Your English is improving. All right. Okay. Sorry. What did you say? <laughs> no, I said, what I mean? You say in Vietnamese. Okay. Understood? Okay. Let's go to the last part here. Future time table events. Can the, you... trend... the train leaves at 4. Okay. Listen. The train leaves at 4. The train leaves at 4. Okay. Good. Next. The... The, the exams, exams start next Monday. Okay, Monday. start next Monday. Very good. And this one, future actions that are decided. Can you read? I'm meeting John this evening. Okay, next. We are leaving tomorrow at 7 a.m. Okay, very good. So look at the difference. So this is a timetabled event, meaning it's a regular schedule. For this one, is action in the future that is decided, right? Okay. okay. For you to remember, you can always check the signal words. For present simple, you can. It may always have the word always, never, often, sometimes, um, every day, day, once, once a month, um, etc. <laughs> okay, you say etc. Etc. Yes. And for present continuous, you say now, at the moment, moment this, day, this day, this, this week, week or month, month etc. Um, etc. Okay. Very good. Well, Lily, I enjoyed teaching you tonight. Hopefully, you enjoyed as well learning with me. Though it's quite difficult, that's part of learning because we learn if it's something difficult, right? 
if it's mm. hard, we learn. <laughs> it's challenging. So we will be able to learn. We will make it better. All right. So see you next. I'm not sure. Um, I'm going to see the schedule. But our next schedule will be uh, this week. So see you next time. Good night first. All right. So Bye. goodbye, Lily. Hope to see you next week or next time, I mean. Okay. So have a great day. Good night. Um, bye bye. On Thursday. Thursday. Yeah. We're going to meet Thursday. Sorry. Okay. We're going to meet Thursday. Goodbye now. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. Good night. Good night. Okay.